Microsoft Power BI is great, but it does have one annoying limitation. When you try to sign into Power BI in order to experience the online side of things, you will be asked to enter an email address. And this has to be your organizational or work email address. But what if you are a student or self-employed or you don't work anywhere, but you just want to experience this. So for example, here I'm going to type my Gmail address. And when I continue with this, it will ask me to sign in with an existing account. Otherwise, I won't be able to use this Gmail address. So how do you bypass this and set up your own account with Power BI? So the first thing that you want to do is go to a Microsoft product website such as Dynamics 365 that offers a free trial option. There are other Microsoft products that also offer free trial like Office 365, but I'm going to use Dynamics one. And we can try this for free. You can just tap on this button and it will ask you which product you want to try because there is a lot of products in there. I'm just going to pick one of these and it will ask you to type in your email address. So here you will type your Gmail, Yahoo Mail or Hotmail address that you have. And when I continue, it will give me a warning saying, please enter a work account for best trial experience. And at the bottom, you will see that to continue with the Gmail address, set up a new account. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to set up and this will take you through the onboarding process of creating a free Microsoft account. It might ask you to solve a login puzzle uh, to type in your email address again. And it will say, looks like you need a new account set up the account button and then it will ask you some of your personal details. So give your name, it will ask you for a business phone number, give your phone number. And here is the important bit. Does your company have a website? So from here, select no. This will give us a chance to create a free Microsoft domain, which then we can use in Power BI. So the next one is your country, select the country. And make sure that you disable any of these trial options or I would like to receive helpful emails and stuff like that. They're not necessary. So I'm going to not check them. And then so it's going to confirm your phone number. It will say text me or call me. Uh, let's just do a phone number verification quickly. And now it will give you a chance to create a free domain on the Microsoft side. So here is your username. For example, my username is Chandu Test D. I'm going to change this to Power BI and the domain name is the domain that you want to create on the Microsoft. So this will be, for example, Chandu YT dot on Microsoft dot com and give a password, save this domain and go to the next screen. The final screen will ask you to add a payment method. Now we don't want to pay anything to Microsoft. This is a free trial that we are signing up so that we can experience the Power BI side of things. So you don't need to do this part. Your account is now already created. You can go back to Power BI now and sign in and give this account. So the account is Power BI at chenduyt.onmicrosoft.com. And let's continue this and give the password. This is also going to open another browser window and it will ask you to sign up for a free fabric account. This is fine. We are just going to sign into that. And again, provide your phone number. I'm not really sure why these phone numbers are not passed between one service to another. But And finally, here is your Power BI user account. It is now all set up and let's get started. This is going to create the app.powerbi.com with your user account and you can now experience the online parts of Power BI that is publishing files to Power BI service and using the online experience. And jumping back into Power BI, you can see that now I am logged in here. In case this is not logged in yet, you may have to log in once again, close and reopen Power BI and complete the login process. And once it is there, you have a Power BI account. You can go ahead and start building reports and once you build something, you can use this publish button to put your work into the Power BI service that you have just set up and go there and see the files here and play with them, experience the online side of things. Even though the free trial itself is for 30 days, I think the domain on Microsoft.com account that we just created should last much longer than that. 
but again microsoft might change its policies so i suggest checking your original email address the gmail or yahoo mail account that you use to sign up for any updates or expiration notices about your domain all the best using power bi service and if you do have any other questions leave a comment below so i can help you out bye